Hey there, welcome back and today we will talk about making money on Facebook. Now friends, Facebook is great. Facebook has millions and millions of users and we can connect with like millions of people on Facebook, right? Which is cool. And people make money on YouTube. People are earning like hell lot of money on YouTube and doing some other online stuff. The other dominating platform where people can make a good amount of money is definitely Facebook. Now friends, to start with, there are a couple of pages already where if they post a video and the videos are reaching like millions of views, then definitely Facebook will start monetizing the videos and ads would be served in front of the audiences on the popular videos. Definitely the page owners will get earning out of these ads on the videos, which is fantastic, right? But as if now we have definitely instant article. Now what's an instant article. Instant article is an article on your website which is linked and uh, which could be shared on Facebook and whenever people view the instant article ads would be placed on the article itself and you will get paid for it. Now the setup process is a little lengthy and we will discuss how it is done in this video. As if now let me show you this dummy page and in this page the view is pretty simple right and if we navigate to publishing tool in here the options are very limited and there is no support of instant article. Let me close this and let me show you the page of ours which is steady easy Facebook page. Definitely do check the Facebook page of ours and do like the page as well. In here we have the support of instant article. Now in order to enable instant articles you need to sign up for instant article. Let me show you how we can sign up. For that simply navigate to Google and search for Facebook instant articles and click on Facebook instant article link. The URL is again very simple. It's instantarticles.fb.com. Click on this link and it will open up a sign up page for instant article. Now let's click on sign up and I will suggest you guys to also scroll down on this page and you might get some new information on this page. So let's sign up and make sure that you are already like logged in on Facebook. Then only you will get this page and uh, which is good. Now moving forward friends in here it will list all of the pages which are there with you. Now in here we are not able to see the steady easy page because I have already signed up for instant article. But for example in here you have any page you will get a radio button you can click on this radio button you can click on this checkbox in order to agree the terms and condition and then finally you can click on this access instant articles tool as soon as you will do this you will get the support of instant article on your page which is cool right so let me quickly navigate to our page and let me show you the publishing tool and uh, in here we have the support of instant article right so this is the first step. Let's proceed further and check out more steps. Now friends, we have the support of instant articles now, which is cool. Now articles and post are different. Let me show you post. Let me paste this link and uh, let us quickly check the post which we have already submitted. So these are the post which we have published and these are plain text and uh, maybe some videos which is cool but these are not articles articles are actual web pages which are linked on your page directly now instant articles has a icon besides them a lightning icon and they also loads faster so that's again a property of instant articles let me navigate to publishing tools and we will quickly check the configuration all right so here is the configuration let me click on this and in here if we check this particular page will start complaining and it will say please address these issues before submitting and if we check the issue is you must create 10 or more articles in your production library before submitting for review. Now before it was 5 and it is now increased to 10. Alright so now we need to do couple of more things. Now friends if you have a website and it is based on WordPress then your work would be pretty simple. Now in order to link website to page there are a couple of things. First thing when it comes to WordPress is installing a plugin. Let us do that. So we will navigate to plugins. Now before that what is this page? This is the backend of your WordPress website. Let me show you. If you navigate to your WordPress 
admin panel you need to give the username and password and you need to log in and the backend will be shown all right so this is our backend and let us navigate to plugins and in here we will click on add new all right and we need to search for something known as facebook instant articles all right so we got the plugin by typing in facebook instant only and here is the plugin let me click on install now and note that this plugin is by automatic so take a note of it let me click on install now it will take a couple of minutes based on your internet speed all right so it got installed which is fantastic let me activate this and if i check the sidebar in here we have this instant articles option let me click on this instant article and in here first of all we need to add in the page id all right so let's navigate to our page and let's click on connect your site option and in here we need to copy this id which is provided all right so let me copy this and paste it under the facebook page id option and then we will scroll down and simply save the changes which is cool right now friends making use of a plugin definitely reduces our effort let me now copy the domain and in here if i simply paste our url and then claim url then what would be the outcome let me show you and the url has been claimed so usually if you are not making use of a plugin you need to copy this particular part and you need to paste it in your header section and once you paste this particular information and then you would be able to claim your url and then it would be good all right moving forward we can claim multiple urls definitely you can have multiple websites and you can add the instant articles from multiple websites in your specific page as well so even that is possible now friends moving forward let us check the yet another very important setting which is production rss feed now what is a rss feed rss feed is a mechanism using which we can check the updates which are going in the website and it is not readable by the human directly but we can definitely automate publishing using rss and this functionality is very cool because whenever we post an article in our website it would be directly publishing this particular article in our page itself so our efforts would be reduced and it will enable us to automate the publishing now in this input box we need to add in the url of the rss feed let me navigate to our own website and in here usually when it comes to wordpress the feeds are found in uh, domain slash feed url this particular url will give you the rss feed which is generic and it is not specific to instant article rather you need to check the instant article feeds and the url is your domain name slash feed slash instant articles and here is the url now instant there is a dash in between so take a note of it let me copy this url and paste it in here and then moving forward let me save this changes all right so this looks good to me let me give this couple of seconds before it reloads the page all right now friends we have successfully saved the changes for production rss feed and when we have refreshed this page now there are two issues first there was one now there are two the second issue which is the new issue is missing logo so let us fix this and for fixing this we need to navigate to styles and in here we will click on default and then we will click on logo and we will click on choose logo but before let us also check the image requirement the image needs to be an png image and moreover the dimension should be minimum 690 px by 132 px so take a note of it let's click on logo and in here we have this image banner.png with us let me click on the image and now the image is loaded in here which is cool and now let me save the changes all right so i guess everything has been saved all right now let me refresh this page once again let me again navigate to configuration and now the error is vanished all right so in here we again having this issue which is not enough article now friends we have already configured the production rss feed now if we click on this production articles then 
all the posts which we have did in our website are auto populated in here which is amazing right and if we count there are eight posts and this is the reason why we are again getting this issue which says not enough articles and if we check in here there are in total eight posts so let's navigate to YouTube and we will directly navigate to our channel in fact all right and uh, let me create two articles based on our latest youtube videos first one is based on passive income methods let me pause this and let me edit this video all right so the description is very good in fact so in order to save some time i will copy this description navigate to wordpress and quickly add in a post so i will click on add new and the name of the post would be interesting but as if now let me copy and paste the content first and the title would be 10 ways to make passive income online all right so this is good and we need to also share in the video url now let me click on this add media and we will click on this insert from url and paste the url from youtube all right and then we will insert it into our post so this is cool and now we will update our post so now we have a article and this is the ninth article and we will pause this video and add the yet another article real quick as well but before that let me show you our page and in here if i refresh this page and if i click on this production articles let me firstly check whether this is there or not so we can check that the article is automatically fetched which is awesome so this is the ninth article in our website which is already fetched let me real quick add in a yet another article all right so i have added a yet another article and this is now showing under the production articles now usually facebook takes like couple of minutes one to two minutes before it fetch the information from your website so do wait couple of minutes before checking out the production articles all right so now if i navigate to configuration it should not give us any issue and we can click on submit for review but wait a minute in here there is something known as audience network as well now if you want to earn some amount from facebook then you need to monetize and in order to monetize your instant articles with ads from facebook then you need to enable your audience network now audience network is similar to adsense in google now friends monetization on videos would be only available to the pages and videos where the views is really high so for us monetization is only on instant articles as of now so i will click on this checkbox and click on get started now in order to enable audience network there are couple of things which we need to do now let's click on this link your dashboard and this will open up a dashboard of our audience network and uh, this is cool but in here there is a warning and this warning is currently ineligible for payments so let's click on this particular link which says payout alternatively we can also click on here which says payout and this will open up a page and in here we can click on this create slash select payout button and this will open this pop-up and we will click on this create new account link all right and in here we need to add in details i am from india so i will choose country as india payment type would be individual tax id number would be based on your country in india it's pan number let me fill in the pan number real quick all right so i have added the tax id along with account name account name could be anything i have given the name as steady easy address city zip code then your email address number the usual personal details i have filled those all let me click on next all right now we need to add in the name so let me add in my name all right let me add in my date of birth now let's click on next all right so now you have to provide the text form information and this will definitely change person to person based on your country all right so now let me click on next all right now moving forward let me choose admins and for my case i will keep myself admin only let me click on next and now you need to provide the bank information so you can also add in the paypal account which would be more easy for you but definitely people will charge some amount 
as a commission for conversion charges i suppose so you can choose the bank account to get the payment directly in your bank account but in my case i will go with paypal and we will click on paypal first name which is my name paypal last name and email let me link my paypal account here we go so this is good let me check these check boxes and let's click on finish all right so now finally your new company was created successfully which is perfect all right so now let me close this window and uh, let me save the changes as well let me refresh this page it is not showing us a proper output here if we go so now we have this company as a steady easy and everything is good and there is no warning which is perfect now let me again navigate to steady easy and in here now i can submit this for review let me do one thing let me refresh the page first and then let me submit it for review that would be better now friends the minimum amount of payout is i suppose hundred dollars that is not confirmed all right so now again let me navigate to configuration and this is the final step i will directly now click on submit for review and everything else seems to be good enough all right so congratulations our application has been submitted successfully which is fantastic and this will take couple of days like three to five business days to be more specific and then our uh, articles would be published as well so as it is not reviewed till now this is the reason why this is not published till now all right so this is it and uh, amazingly that we have uh, did so many steps and everything went perfectly all right and finally we were able to submit our application so once our application has been approved i will again make a quick video on which i will show you how instant articles looks and uh, how was our overall layout of instant articles on our page so that's it for today's video hope you guys enjoyed it apology for a long video but there were multiple steps as well take care and have a nice day